that you was making so much money and you wasn't. The only reason why a lot of these guys don't step up on these podcast shows and be like, well, actually, the DA had it wrong. She said that we was making this amount of money and we were actually making only a thousand dollars every few days or every 10 months is because we live in a world where these dudes want to show off. They want to get indicted for a bigger crime and have been the ones to come home <clears throat> knowing they got railroaded and they won't say that. Like, look, bro, I never had no kilos. I never even saw one kilo in my life. Now that they know that there's podcasting and that people in the world want to hear our stories from the streets, they fucking like happy. Like, yo, bro, I got caught with 10 bricks. My dude, you're lying. That was on the paperwork so that you could get a bid. You never had 10 bricks in your life. You never even saw a plate of bud, son. Facts. You get it? Like, these are facts. Now, a lot of people have... Like I told people, the picture that you see there with me with the hand and the butt, that's about 40 pounds of butt. That's my hand with my, you see my flag, you see my watch, the pics are there in the podcast episode. You get it? My man was like, you crazy, you posting that? But I, I never posted it again like that. It's hard to find it, but a lot of people did find it. It's on their platform, they put it, it's like they wanted me to go to jail, <laughs> but it's there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you know, a lot of stories that people have said while we was doing and all that. And there was times I was super fucked up too. I did it all. You get it? But I would say facts. Like, yo, they charged me with son, and that wasn't it. Like the time I got five years for only two bags of dope. <laughs> My nigga, I didn't have bricks and I got time like a dude that had mad grams. Now, I got a weight. Uh, when I got arrested with Kano, we had like 20-something grams, 11 grams in the baby formula of heroin. The price is super higher back then. And uh, when his the girl's mother came and picked up the formula from the precinct, I said that story. Me and uh, uh, King Kano, when we got arrested together in Brooklyn, uh, uh, and they charged us with a hate crime and homicide. Facts. Uh, and we beat that. Facts, I, I was on trial for like 23 months, 23 months or a little more than that, facts, shout out to King Kano, bro, you already know, <laughs> gang, crap, <laughs> pop, uh, that's when Kano was telling me to tell the, 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 the jury that, that it was all him, Yo, bro, yo, bro, bro, Cito, just tell him it was on me, bro, that you didn't have nothing to do with it, bro. I'm giving you the okay. My nigga, nah, that's going to have to come from you in the court. I said, I'll never do that. Are you crazy? I would have went in that jury and said that. That would have been on my paperwork. He could have flipped on me and went to anybody, even though we was the ones in charge in the building at that time on Rikers Island. These are facts. Uh, 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 uh. I think he was fourth crown at that time. Bottom line, anyway, it would have not happened. Like, he could have flipped on me at any minute and changed his mind and be like, yo, war told on me for anything, being power hungry, hater, anything. You heard? Facts. <laughs> Hell no. Meanwhile, you told me this. and Nah, bro, I'm not doing that. I said, you got to do that, homie. I'm not doing none of that. Facts. <laughs> you crazy? Yo, what up? What's up, Luca? Everyone international player now. Facts. Yeah, everybody international player now. What's up? What's up? Uh, Forever. What up, my guy? Chilling. Cafe con la jai. You already know what it is. We in the building, bros on the lockout. Nothing else, you heard? Reputed mobsters working with the almighty blood nation get arrested for homicide bodies, the mafia, organization, crime, units. What's going down, world? We got to get it together. Dudes are getting their father murdered. What's next? <laughs> you heard? I would never get my father murdered. There's not that much. My father's dead, first of all, but there's not that much money in the world. Who does that, bro? That shit is crazy. 
Just because your father got a few mil, you want you know what it was? If you see the son, you could tell he's getting high. Facts. You a mobster, that don't mean nothing. They started dealing with drugs more in these years, more than ever. When that wasn't their thing, they always told you, do not mess with that junk. But you know why? Because 90% of their kids were getting high on dope. Facts. They were growing up in the Bronx, Brooklyn. It was Italians and Puerto Ricans. And you already know heroin hit the streets. And most Italian, most dudes that you consider white that are getting high, they're Italian out here. With the ones I know. And they love dog food. Facts. Respectfully. Uh, uh. It's just like that, bro. But uh, Bob, you know, uh, back to you. Some guy got shot in the parking lot. Somebody got shot. Oh, oh my God, I can't somebody. hear it. We're just taking care of customers. A McDonald's employee witnessed Sylvester Satola's Acura smashing into the wall at the Bronx drive-through right after the 71-year-old man was shot point blank. I'm one of the managers at McDonald's, and I was taking an order when I see him that he would come and shot the guy. Oh, homegirl's just telling, mama. She's a Spanish chick, you could tell. I'm one of the girls at McDonald's, and I see when you Shout out to you, though. She's like, I'm not going to jail. I'm telling, look. McDonald's manager witnessed the drive through murder. Fed say Bloods gang hooked up with victim's son. My dude, you played yourself. You made the Blood gang look bad, but I get it. I can't even say that, right? Because who am I? Like, we all did things like that. He's probably not even Blood. But my point here is do not let people use you, Blood. Yo, Blood, don't let people use you. It's not worth it. You know why, homie? Why they using us? The Latin Kings, the Bloods, the Crips. Trinitarios, you know why they using us? Because they know that we daring. We got the set of balls that they don't got. You heard? They know you're going to go through with it. And not only that, you know what gets me more tight? They know you willing to do it for crumbs. They disrespecting you. They disrespecting us, blood. Fuck them niggas. Don't do that. Don't kill another man. It's not worth it for that money. Your life, your mother, your daughter. For why? Do you know his father? You killed his father. That dude is on drugs, bro. He wasn't thinking right. But I'll tell you one thing. He's capable of even saying that the whole idea was yours. John? Let's take him back to the videotape. So he's in the in the car. Yes, he's dead. The feds say Blood's gang leader Bashawn Shelton organized the hit, and it wasn't like a Godfather film. He looks young. He looks like a black kid. Prosecutors charge a whole slew of alleged Bloods members, more than ten, took part in a murder for hire conspiracy that took more than a year to complete. Blood. You, he put you away for the rest of your life. Whoever's watching this, if these are your homies, respects to you guys. But I don't want you to get the messages confused. Sometimes we see something, we comment, we don't know. Like, nah, son is actually saying he fuck with it. And you think I'm dissing you. No, I'm in no way dissing you. I'm saying they using us, bro. They using our people. Uh, $200,000 is not enough for you to catch a body. Not even in the 90s was I doing shit like that for 200000 You got to come better than that. Facts. I'm going to tell you who does things like that for petty money like that. People out of necessity. You have a habit. You're getting high. You on crack. You on K2. And you know what's the sad part about it? There's somebody in the Bronx, I was told, put a hit out on me for $5,000, bro. So you telling me one of you lame ass birds that he sent to kill me, right? That you better hope you kill me because I'm going to send you smoking back to that motherfucker, right? 
You gonna try to kill me for five thousand dollars? You's a fucking bum. Facts. I spent five thousand dollars in minutes sitting right in this gaming chair, ordering from Amazon, nigga. Facts. On my mother. You can't do shit with that money, bro. That shit goes this quick, bro. I've gotten hundreds of thousands of dollars, spending them. This happened to me a few times. I told y'all the story. 23000 is not enough. Hundreds of thousands is not enough. I spent that in two days. Got locked up and needed that same money for bail. I still got it from somebody. because, But I'm saying I just had it in the crib. Spend it. And then got locked up days later and needed it for bail. Facts. So money goes like nothing. You'd be surprised. That's like people trying to be millionaires and you get one million and you open. You got to keep the same ambition, the same thirst. That's what got you that million dollars. But I'm talking about legitimately because the minute you spend a dollar, you no longer a millionaire no more, homie. I don't know who told people that being a real millionaire consists of one million dollars. Once you spend a dot, you not a millionaire no more, bro. You couldn't pay me to kill a black or Latino brother, any human being for 250000 You violated me. You can make way more than that. 250000 Playing video games on these platforms. Facts. Whoever tells you no is because they don't want you to do it and they don't want you to prosper. You can make one video and make more than $250,000. Facts. You could open up a platform, have zero subscribers, start posting that month, and within that month, gain $250,000. Facts. Now that you don't know how to do it and that they somebody else don't want to show you, or that you don't have the money to pay to learn how to do it, I get it. But that's exactly the way it goes. So don't let nobody tell you a lie to you, my dude. You just got to put the same energy that you're putting in the streets to kill that dude, convert it into a positive format, and embed it in your everyday schedule to doing whatever you're doing, and watch you be great at that too. The same way we capable of killing in the streets, we kill whatever we do, homie. That's who we are. It's in our nature to get it. But we trying to get it in the wrong places. Facts. They using us, bro. Don't let them use your gang, bro. If I was a GF for the Bloods, you couldn't use my little homies for that. Hell no. Nah, 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 nah. Off top, you should know. He's a mobster. He's asking you for murder for hire. They hot already, bro. You're bringing the feds to the nation, bro. We ain't fucking with that. And the nations are already hot. All the nations in New York. New York, we the shit. We the shit, New York. We the shit. I don't care what nobody else say everywhere else. Respect to wherever all you guys are from. I love you. The ones that watch me, my loyal supporters, I love you. But all these other dudes that be trying to diss us, homie, you watch us to emulate us is New York City. We the best. Everybody in the world watch New York shows to be like the New York niggas. This is facts, homie. The same way you watch our hip-hop, our slang, our lingo, all that, bro. And if it wasn't for New York Bloods, that blood shit wouldn't be where it's at. Because if, and the same thing goes for the Almighty Latin King Nation, all that, the Crips, all that. If it wasn't for New York, that shit would have been exactly what y'all wanted it to be. Local. Nobody would have known about y'all unless they was born in your family or born out there in L.A., bro. We made that shit pop. Not glorifying. Not glorifying. Just stating facts. You should thank us. You should show more gratitude. P. 
people know of you and they playing your music, whether you king, whether you blood, whether you crib, they all got hip hop. If you look up Latin King rap music, you got a million of them niggas. You be like, damn, this is where they at. You look up blood music. But if it wasn't for New York, nobody would be searching for you. And none of these algorithms. Facts. So the bloods in New York made blood what it is today. The kings in New York made the Latin kings what it is today. The Crips made the Crips what it is today. The Patrias, Tribu, all that in New York, they made it what it is today, bro. Show a little more respect and gratitude, bro. Because people didn't know about y'all niggas before New York put it on the map. Facts. Yeah, y'all came up with it. Y'all came up with it. Y'all came up with it. You know what I'm saying? You know how it goes? Y'all said it in a bar. You heard? <laughs> we took it and made it a hot song. You heard? Facts. We made it global. We made it a hit. As a matter of fact, you guys owe us money, bro. And you can start by paying homage. We take homage. We take homage. Fuck out of here. You crazy? Yo, y'all jacking while we started. You should be happy they jacked it, bro. That shit was going 